yo, 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 what's up, y'all? Hope all is well. Anyways, let's get right to it, right? So, I was watching an interview with Max Kellerman that he did with Andre Ward. And in that interview, they went over a different couple of boxers or whatever, but the one that stood out for me was Javante Davis. Yes, Andre Ward said a few things, hmm, that uh, were interesting, so to say. But let's check it out. Let's check it out, y'all. You were Javante. Would you be okay just collecting checks, beating solid guys, but so far avoiding the three best fighters in your weight class? Listen, if, if Javante Davis never fights those guys, then we can say that he's avoiding them. Um, but he's he's in a sweet spot right now. You got to realize that he's come up under Mayweather. He's got the, the Mayweather co-sign. Mayweather gave him the blueprint on, on, on how to sell tickets. Mayweather showed up to his events, and that helped him sell tickets. And then he took it to the next level through his performances. He's explosive, and everybody loves knockouts, and you never know what's going to happen in a Javante Davis fight. So he's done the work. To be at this point, time will tell if he wants those matchups or not. Personally, me, I love the money. I've been in a lot of, uh, you know, heavy negotiations where you're fighting for every dime. You got to get your money. Get that. Don't sacrifice that for legacy. But at a certain point, you got to be in some 50-50 matchups. And that's the easiest way to okay. look at a okay. fighter's resume. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Look at their record. To look at the names on the record. That's the easiest way to look at a fighter's resume. Okay, y'all. So right there, right? Pause. Let's pause it. All right. Look. Um. So he needs to fight 50-50 fights. More of them. Never mind the money. You making the money. The money's gonna come. You gotta focus on legacy at some point. He says, right? Hmm. Huh. Okay. So who is his man's? Terrence Buddy Crawford, right? Yeah, that's Andre Ward's man's. So, when is he going to say the same thing to Crawford that he's saying about Tank? Because how many 50-50 fights have Crawford fought? Uh, it's, let's stick to 147 division at that. Just in 147. We ain't even going to go back there. Just in 147. I can name 50-50 uh, fights for Crawford. I can name zero. Yeah, zero. There was no 50-50 fights for Crawford at 147. None. Don't say Porter. No. Porter was on his way out the door. His daddy weighed a fucking uh, towel because he was probably trying to win some money that night. Don't fucking tell him. It was some <laughs> bullshit. But come on. 50-50 fights? You want to talk about 50-50 fights? Tell that shit to Crawford. Tell it to Crawford because he got plenty of 50-50 fights. I don't need to name them, though. But let's get back to it, y'all. If you're not on point, you can lose tonight. I think Javante has to step it up in, in the 50-50 matchup category. He gets through Garcia, which is no given. And then I think those other fights are waiting for him on the other end. Yeah, the Floyd blueprint, and who could argue with it from a business point of view, right? Maybe even a legacy point of view, the way he's considered among the very, very greatest who ever did it. Seems part of the blueprint seems to be to not give the people what they want when they want it. And that creates pent-up demand, which pays off down the road and sometimes also puts you... Pause. Hold on. Now, Max Kellerman, I can understand where he's coming from, but I just want to say he get on my damn nerves. Look, Max Kellerman don't know nothing about boxing for real, y'all. He wasn't even doing boxing a couple of few years back or whatever. Max Kellerman, he just goes with the flow of ESPN or whatever notes he has. <laughs> if you ask me, but whatever, whatever. Let's get back to it. I'm just saying. Been against the fighter is no longer in his prime. Andre Terence Crawford fought again and of course won recently but he is clearly in my view being ducked by al Heyman, who is using transparent techniques to avoid putting his guy errol spence in with bud i don't think spence is ducking anyone spence is, you know but business decisions being made it seems to me that would be the biggest fight in boxing meantime crawford's already 35 he ain't getting any younger is he still at the top of his game bud and for how much longer do you think Pause. Hold on, y'all. So now Al Heyman ducking Buddy Crawford. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You smoke crack, don't you? You smoke crack, don't you? Let's remember, Al Heyman works for Spence, okay? All right? So he can't duck Crawford. He works for Spence, okay? We ain't even going to get into all them details, but you see the bias. They always been biased on ESPN for Crawford because Crawford was with top rank. 
Blase, Blase. If you know, you know. What up? But let's get back to it. It's just bullshit, bullshit. Fuck. What is the expiration date on that fight? Well, I'm not going to go so far as to say that the Al Hangman is ducking Terrence Crawford because I don't have the intimate knowledge of the negotiations. We get what's fed to us, and we try to we try to form an opinion from there. You know, and I, and I do believe that that as much as, you know, influence that Al Hangman has on his fighters, I believe Errol Spence is the boss at the end of the day, and he has the final say, and I believe he wants to fight. Now, if this fight doesn't happen in this next go-around of negotiations, then, you know, personally me, I'm done with the fight. I've been one that's been, uh, you know, cautiously optimistic and trying to stay positive. But if this fight doesn't get done this time around, somebody doesn't want the fight. In terms of uh, pause, somebody doesn't want the fight. Ward, who is somebody? Uh -huh. You don't want to say somebody name. Ward know what's going on, man. He up over there too with them though. The ESPN business guy, whatever corporate. It's just whatever, man. Whatever. He should be saying the same shit about Crawford that he's saying about Tank. Resume. Who on his resume? That's worth mentioning. Whatever. At 147. Since he's been there for so long at this point. Whatever, though. Um, you know how long Terrence Crawford has? I think he has as long as he wants. Uh, if he's not still no, at he the peak of his prime, he's still very, very close. That's because of lifestyle. That's because of his dedication to the craft. He doesn't put poison in his body. And when you treat your body right, it'll go longer than a lot of people think it will. It doesn't take a lot of punishment. <laughs> okay, if Al Hayman takes exception with my characterization, I've reached out to Errol Spence and have him on the show. He has not appeared on the show. And I would, I publicly offered Al Hayman uh, a spot on this show to to answer and to to, to you know give his point of view, and that remains an open door. They're not going to do it, Max. They're not going. They're not going to come. That's not my fault. Not so I characterize it the way I characterize. That's what not your do? fault. This is based on the info that right. I have. Now we uh, pause. No, they're not fucking coming on there to talk to you. Talking about you fucking gave him an invite to come on there, and why would Spence come on there? Y'all don't do nothing but down Spence too. The fuck? Y'all think it's a game, huh? Coming on there. Al Heyman, come on. What? What? <laughs> but y'all see what I be saying? They play too much. They play too much. Cause they know Al Heyman don't talk to nobody. And why would they why would he come out talking to them? ESPN of anybody. <laughs> Whatever, man. Ward be biased as hell. Ward be so biased. I'm telling you, be so biased versus the fighters from PBC. But it's nothing new. It's nothing new. I'm just saying, though, he just take that advice that he's trying to give Tank and go give it to Crawford. Since Crawford's career will be over before Tank's. Unless Tank decide to end his earlier. Fuck out of here, man. Whatever. Ain't no safety on this clock.